the Orb of Power. This orb is infamously used as an item in Super Mario 63 by Bowser in order to destroy the world. But this orb is not just a fictitious item. Legends say that the Orb of Power fell from the sky over a thousand years ago. Those that discovered it praised it as a sign from their gods. In a desperate bid to pay off his debts to the king, amongst other items, Arthur Bandy stole the orb from a temple. However, the orb has a darker side. Whosoever possesses it becomes consumed with power. Arthur became so attached that he couldn't give it up. And while there are no written recordings, it's known that it was passed down throughout the Bandy family. Nathaniel is currently aware of the orb's powers, but does not quite understand how and why they work. He had no idea that it was just one piece of something much bigger. This is Bandy's universe. your character in Melee. I just think people aren't playing him right. I don't like, think honestly, you're wrong. Here's the thing. Is that who I think it is? Oh, dude. Oh my god. That is a sick cosplay. You've been met with a terrible fate, haven't you? That costume must have taken forever to make. I'm impressed. What masks do you have? Ooh, the bunny hood. Is that a Sans mask? Huh, I don't remember this one. Wow, you are really into this, huh? Do not wear that mask. Yeah, sure thing, pal. <laughs> okay, this has to work. <laughs> Salesman? Where'd he go? I don't know. Did, did the Orb of Power have something to do with this? Because that was just... Nathan. Yeah? You still have that ocarina, right? I do. Give it to me. Okay. Wait, before you do anything, let me, let me call Nathaniel. Do something. Come on. Give me a minute. It's coming in fast. Hey, I was about to call you actually. Uh, hey, did you make this boulder moon appear? I think. How? Hey. I'm the one that has. I know, Carl. I have your power. Go. How did you do that? Uh, it wasn't from that. What? So I was just looking around at some nice boulders and stuff, and I found this weird orb thing that kind of looked like the orb of power, but it had some sort of black insignia on it. When I picked it up, a bunch of characters and elements from Majora's Mask started to fly out of it. So I freaked out and threw it. Hello? <sighs> Carl? Take us back in time.
What? What is that? Wait. Wait. No way. Wow, space travelers. Never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Congratulations on discovering the void. Now then, I take it you found all five orbs to fix the space-time continuum? Five? There's five of them? You guys aren't space travelers, are you? No. Let me guess, planet Earth? Yeah. <sighs> Of course, an inferior intelligence is now deciding our universe's grand fate. Do you happen to know where any of the other orbs are? Uh, I've got this one, and I, th I think there's another one on Earth. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, wait! You will be needing that until you've found all of them. Huh? <laughs> Importantly, who the hell was that? I don't know, but we need to find Nathaniel. And how are we supposed to do that? We're in the middle of some random forest. Tingle, tingle, kulo lempa. These are Tingle's magic words he created. Oh, God. Let's just get this over with. Oh. <clears throat> uh, hey, Tingle. You have a map? Yes, yes. While I'm here waiting for a ferry of my own, I'm selling maps from help my father. Lucky, lucky. Thank you, Tingle. Please, the maps. I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. What's this? This is the GPS, my friend. We are in the future. Future, future. We're in the middle of nowhere, Tingle. I don't think a GPS is going to work out here. Do you have a map of this forest? Of course. Cool. Thank you. We don't have rupees, but um, here, I hope that helps. Thank you! <laughs> Nathaniel, I want you to grab that as soon as Carl is done playing the song of time, okay? Oh, uh, all right. Dude, I don't think we should go back. Why not? Okay, you don't find it a little suspicious that there's a magical pedestal in the middle of a void that fits these exact orbs? Look, why don't we just bargain with the head and just give what we have and forget this ever happened? All right, fine. Wow, you really do have the orb. Color me impressed. You know, I'm surprised you didn't do more damage to your planet. Anyways, this is the orb of mystery. Okay, so uh, can we just like give these to you and you find some other space traveler? Absolutely not. You've made more progress than anyone else has to date. Bro, I kind of just want to go home. Yeah, me too. I just wanted to visit some boulders. What? Oh, so then you're fine if space-time were to, say, collapse in on itself in the next hundred trillion years? Seriously? Space-time? How do we know we can trust this guy? It may sound crazy, but I assure you it's true. Carl, this is serious. All right. But if things get out of control, we're all done. Of course, of course. It certainly was smart to question me, Carl. You shouldn't just take orders from strangers, after all. Uh, but really, I'm no stranger at all. You see, I was there when you were born, and I'll be here when you die. I was there when you spoke your first word, and even that time that you used Nathan's toothbrush to scrub your feet. You did what? It was just one time. <laughs> but that's not the point. The point is that I know all of you, and that I'm here to help. 
See, Carl? Trustworthy. Yeah. Okay, fine. What's our job? Well, you've already expediently found two of the orbs. Your job is to find all five. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys okay? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'm just, uh... Wait. Oh my god, we're low tiers. Guys, look! <laughs> oh, this will be easy. He got really nerfed. Do we want to fight him, though? Yeah, I think we just- ah! <gasps> I'll avenge you, Nathaniel! Uh, <laughs> I guess it's up to me now. I'll avenge you both! You guys are alive? Uh, yeah, we're fine. Where are we? Guys, look. inside the character select screen? You look lost. Are you guys new DLC? Oh, uh, no. We're all just me's. Huh. Must be a weird patch update. Anyway, your rooms are right down there. And if you have any questions, just let me or anyone else here know. Except Donkey Kong, don't talk to him. We forgot to ask about the orbs. <sighs> Damn it. Let's just ask somebody else. Oh my god, Kirby! Hi! Hi! Aww, Kirby! Have you seen any weird looking looks around here? Boyo, boyo, boyo! <laughs> Thanks, Kirby! <laughs> okay, this isn't helping. Yeah, yeah, let's just snoop around. Are these, like, portals to other worlds? Hmm. What the hey? Oh my god, this is why we went to Smash Bros. There's portals to all the universes from all the different characters in this game. This is crazy! Hey, wait. Hold on to your horses. I think I found the manual to work this thing. And we push enter, right? Wait a second. I wonder if we can take boulders out of any of these places. Nathaniel, please, not now. Yes, you can. Huh? So, yeah, you press the button and it warps you to that universe. Uh, there's a warning that bringing new people into a universe that they've never been in can corrupt it if you don't follow the same paths. Oh. I mean, we'll be smart about it. So, are we going to go to Roquefort? Why not? I call Luigi. I'll take the Goomba. I'll have the orange piano with the cool sunglasses. Oh my. This suit? The shades? The demeaning nature of my presence? Am I a mob boss? We got some suspicious fellas wanting to talk to you, boss. What? Oh, they're fine. Let them go, they're harmless. You sure, boss? I never make mistakes, you filthy animal. Leave us be. Yes, sir.
You guys didn't tell me I was gonna be the Mafia. I just liked his sunglasses. Lucky you. You didn't have to pick Goombella, dude. I thought I chose Goomba. I wanted to blend in. Silence, you fools. <laughs> I love this power I have. But now, let's find those orbs. I bet Mario would know where they are. Hello. Hey, Mario. I need to talk to you about something. Let me handle this. Hey, bro. I have this crazy story. Oh, sure, what's up? Okay, so just hear me out. I'm not actually Luigi. I'm another person from another universe, but I'm kind of inside Luigi's Yay. body, but yeah. it's okay. I'm only gonna be here for a little bit. Me and my friends Don and Goomba are looking for these orbs. Mm. They're kind of round and have this colorful Ooh. Ooh. Hush, there Rena, because that's where it takes us for some reason. Oh, brother. Hey, Mario, you need to listen to Luigi's story. It's very important. Hey, what the hell? What's the big idea? You're not supposed to curse. What the f***? Oh. 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 Are you guys all right? Uh, yeah. Uh, what's up, Steve from Minecraft? Why does everyone say it like that? Because it's kind of funny. Nobody takes me seriously. I don't know what you boys were up to in here, but if you'll treat me with respect, I'll tell you why that chest exploded. We're sorry, sir. Look, as a fellow enthusiast of living outside, I get you. Yeah, so, um, the chest exploded because someone broke the rules in that universe. You're lucky Luigi doesn't care about Rogueport, or I know he'd be upset. <sighs> well, now what? Sorry, guys, I just have to keep looking around. Oh my god, we have our own chest. Is that Earth? I, I think so. It does make sense though, huh? Uh huh? Well, think about it. In every other room you've been able to go to, the world that those characters are from exists, right? So what's your point? So my point is, is that Mies are representations of people created by people, so therefore, Mies actually originate from Earth. Mies people, people Earth. Get it? Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. So you're saying if we go through this portal, we could go home. That's what I've been saying for the past 30 seconds. All right, let's go back then. This is our chance to just forget about all this and get things back to normal. What are we waiting for? We can't, man. Look, how about if something goes wrong, this is plan B, okay? All right. Oh! oh. Excuse me, Captain. I'm your biggest fan. Hey, Falcon, what's up? What up, bro? You see any weird looking orbs nearby? What, bro? The only orbs I see are the ones on these guns. Like great orbs with colorful writing on them? Listen, bros, let me say straight up that my guys are in the know of the know for Noah Hall. You feel me, bros? In other words, we all so tight that whatever is said stays in it. You clear? What are you talking about? Bro, I'm straight up hitting home runs and you ain't catching. Or are you playing me like a sazzling dazzling? Jeez, just say you don't want to help next time. <laughs> Whatever, bro! Shame on your quads anyway! Welcome! Punch! You out of the club, bros. Not cool, yo. Okay, this time, I pick who we talk to. Hey, Mr. Game and Watch, can I ask you something? Would you happen to have seen any orbs, maybe like a grayish one in any of your Game and Watch games? 
Huh. Great thinking, Nathaniel. Let's talk to the guy that only speaks in Morse code. Are you pointing to talk to him? Thank you. Blimey, you and me's are looking rather strange today. Bad hair day. Say, would you happen to know anything about seeing any orbs? Orbs? What do you mean? Oh, it's just like this little gray orb thing with colored insignias. I have you heard of them. Yeah, this is one of them. This is the orb of power. Orb of... Ah! Yes, I can help. You need to talk to Sonic. He'll know what to do. You're looking for the Orb of Travel. Wait, you know the name? I saw it. Whoa. Okay, well, thank you. Wait! Good luck out there. Your future is technically successful, but it's going to be a bloody ripper. Good day. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> hey, Sonic! What's up, pal? We were wondering if you could take us to the Orb of Travel. Whoa! Hold up there, partner. Where'd you hear about that? Shulk told us to talk to you. Ah, oh, no. Well, you'll find it in the Master Emerald Shrine. I don't know how you'll get it from Knuckles, but good luck. All right, ready? Let's do it. What the? Why do these models look so blocked? It was a different time. Let's look around. <laughs> Yo, what are you doing here? Uh, hello, Knuckles. How did you all get here? Explain yourselves. Okay, okay. We're just looking for the Orb of Travel. Orb of Travel? Yeah, Sonic said you'd know about it. I haven't heard that name in decades. So you know where it is? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. What? Why? If such an orb were to exist, it would be incredibly useful for protecting the Master Emerald. I just want to point out that I love this stone structure you've got. It reminds me of home. Uh, thanks. So you can't help us? Nope. Sorry, man. Well, now what? I don't know, but I think he's got the orb. He's acting really weird about it. Yeah. I think he's using it to protect the master. Oh, we just give him something better. But what? What if we took a ditto from Pokemon and told Knuckles that he could make fake Master Emerald with it? How did that boulder brand of yours come up with that? Hmm. Well, let's get that ditto. Wait, if we take a ditto out of that universe, we would destroy that universe. What choice do we have at this point? Well... Hey, hey wait! <sighs> hey, slow folks. What about the Johto region? There's Ditto on Route 34. Yeah, sure. It's me, Nathan. Oh, hey! Nathan and Carl? Yup. Yep. So I found some money in the daycare center and bought a bunch of Pokeballs. Oh, sweet! Let's find that ditto. Nice catch. Let's get out of here. You still got that Pokeball? Uh, yeah, I got it. You got it? I hope Knuckles is impressed with that ditto. If not, we've always still got this. But let's try to keep things civil. What happened to my chest? No! I'll find you, bastard! Oh no. 
One. I'm surprised to see you guys again. Knuckles, we'd like to offer you a trade for the Orbit Travel. Ah! This is a ditto. It can transform into other creatures and objects at your will. You're telling me I can make that thing turn into anything? Just about. You could even use ditto to make a fake Master Emerald for extra protection. Oh yeah? Well, why don't you prove it then? Ditto. Use transform! What the? I guess you guys weren't lying. should keep this just in case. Uh, yeah, yeah, now, uh, how's this work work? Let's talk details later. We gotta move. There they are. Get them! Wait! I'll take care of them, everyone. You found the Orb of Travel, didn't you? Yes, sir. Just as I envisioned. Play the Song of Time back on Earth to go back to the Void and keep going. I can't guarantee the safety of your universe, but you can at least save everyone else. What is he doing with them? Well, did you kill those me's? Something like that, yeah. Bloody Ripper! Oh man, it is nice to be back somewhere familiar. Yeah, I really miss my boulders. Oh god, we've got company! No! Back again, are we? I take it you found another orb, yes? Is that the orb of travel? Brilliant. Now with the orb of travel, you've the ability to go anywhere your heart desires, so long as you first visualize your destination. Oh, I can do that! Be careful where your mind wanders off to. The orb tends to cling to your most active thought. Looks like you won't need that silly ocarina anymore. Let me try that instead. What? Meow! Huh? Gary? Meow! Ah! I'm SpongeBob! Oh my god! It worked! I'm actually here in the flesh! Who's there? It's me, Carl. Is that you, Nathan? Oh! So you're Squidward. Unfortunately. I've lost all my gains, but I got extra legs at least. Well, don't feel too bad. I don't think I can even lift these. So, Spongebob, huh? You just randomly thought of Spongebob? I didn't think a cartoon would work. Plus, I've always wanted square pants. I think we're in a universe where Spongebob isn't a cartoon, but an actual place. This is over both our heads. Let's just find Nathaniel. Hey, Patrick, are you... Really, Patrick? SpongeBob? Well, are you? Yep, that's me. <laughs> At least, 
Wait, am I Patrick? Did I forget? SpongeBob, please tell me! <laughs> okay, Nathaniel isn't that dumb. <laughs> Who's Nathaniel? Is he the real Patrick? Never mind that. Speaking of forgetting stuff, could you take us to Sandy's house? Uh, yeah, sure. One hour later. Two hours later. Patrick! This isn't Sandy's house! I know! I just wanted to get a snack really quick. <laughs> oh, please! <laughs> Maybe we'll find Nathaniel here. And if not, we'll explain everything to Sandy. Can I have a... Uh... Uh, hmm. Are you gonna order today, uh, sir? Oh, uh, um, maybe. Hmm. Patrick will take a Krabby Patty. Wow! How did you know that, SpongeBob? You're like a genie. I think he means genius. Thanks. You want the usual, SpongeBob? Uh, hmm. Well. Oh, hey, Mr. Krabs. <gasps> SpongeBob! What are you doing here on your day off? Patrick was hungry. Krabby <laughs> <laughs> Patties are ticklish. Wait, why is Squidward here? He wouldn't be here on his lunch break. You don't want to know, Mr. Krabs. Ah, uh, very well then. Hey, Sponge! You want to go jellyfishing? What about Sandy's house? Oh yeah, let's go! <laughs> that was too close. But I think I fooled them. I'll find you, Nathan and Carl. I'll find you. Alright! Playtime! Hey, Patrick, do you think you could catch an orange jellyfish? Okay, sounds good, SpongeBob. I'll be right back. Huh? What do we need an orange jellyfish for? To get rid of Patrick. <laughs> and I thought I was supposed to be the mean one. Hey, Sandy. Are you home? SpongeBob and Squidward? Oh, it's been a boiling half a minute. How have you both been? Uh, great. <laughs> uh, so nice weather we're having, isn't it? I can read right through you two. What's going on? Uh, well, how do we put this? We're, um, looking for something. Yeah, I mean, see, it's like, well, it's just that, uh,. Sandy, you have to believe us. We're not actually SpongeBob and Squidward. We're space travelers and we're looking for five orbs in order to save the space-time continuum. We have three, but we still need two and we don't know where they are. <laughs> oh, boys, you're so funny with your jokes and stuff. <laughs> Sandy, if you're truly a scientist, then you'll believe that the orb of power is real. We've used it, Sandy. It's real. We got here using the orb of travel and have also found the orb of mystery. Well, I'll be doggone. I haven't heard anyone in the deep blue sea bring up the orb of power. <sighs> this comes right from Texas. I know what two orbs you need. In fact, one of them is near us. Really? Where is it? Hold on to your horses, SpongeBob. Or, uh, what's your actual name? I'm Nathaniel. And I'm Carl. What you two fellers need is the Orb of Knowledge and the Orb of Life. The book doesn't say where the Orb of Life is, but the Orb of Knowledge is with King Neptune's family. Oh, that's it? We could totally get that orb, no problem. Oh, no, you ain't. The orb is heavily guarded at all times and is hidden inside King Neptune's castle. That castle is more heavily guarded than a hood-footed jackrabbit playing the fiddle. You'll have to go when Neptune isn't there. What about when Mr. Krabs is frozen? 
How in the sweet name of Texas did you know about that? Well, in our universe, your universe is a cartoon. And there's a movie where Krabs is frozen and SpongeBob and Patrick have to go find Neptune's crown. Interesting. I always thought the parallel universes existed like that. Wow, Sandy. You sure are smart. Thank you. Anyway, that's exactly what this here time machine is for. It's not ready yet, but I've been working on her to go back to that period and get my mitts on that orb. I wanted the orb so I could learn about everything and anything, but I can see you two need it more than I do. Well, we can help you if you'd like. Honestly, I don't think I can get it. Time traveling is riskier than eating chili on a Wednesday, seeing as how changing events in history permanently affects what happens in the future. You two have to do this to keep everything in order. Well, what are we waiting for? The machine ain't ready yet. She needs a little more tinkering and a source of fuel for her machine to work. What kind of fuel does it take? Chum, you think you fellers could swap some from plankton? Uh, yeah, two things. One, why does it run on chum? And two, why do we have to get it? It's environmentally friendly, of course. And you fellers need to get it seen as how Plankton is basically your kinfolk. He'll be too suspicious of me. Hmm, fair enough, I guess. I'll go ahead and finish fixing this. I'll see you two in a jiffy. How on earth are we going to convince Plankton to give us that much chump? I don't know, but we have to act more natural. No way. You aren't thinking what I think you're thinking. Let's do it, buddy. We don't even know how to drive this thing. How does the... Ah! <laughs> you know what? Nathaniel might be onto something. Yeah. So what now? Leave it to me. I've got a plan. Stay here a minute. <laughs> oh, brother. What do you want, you miserable mollusk? Can't you see I'm busy contemplating my life choices? Revenge. Yes, relatable. Plankton, I'm done working for Mr. Krabs. I've had enough of his cheapness, and I want to work for you instead. Interesting. I'll take your offer. Thank you, Mr. Plank. But only if you can bring SpongeBob here as well. I need him to get the secret formula so I can finally rub it in Krabs' face. Yes, sir. I'll bring SpongeBob. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Plankton, you really are 99% hot gas. Karen, my computer wife. You don't know when to take a good opportunity when you see one. Can't you see that they're scheming against you? Squidward wouldn't just randomly walk in here for no reason. Oh, please. Krabs has been paying them in bubbles for years now. I don't blame them for leaving. <laughs> Nathan, I need you to pretend you work for Plankton. What did you do? No time to explain. <laughs> All right, sir. I got SpongeBob. I'll work for you, Plankton. Just don't hurt Mr. Krabs, okay? Oh, I won't physically hurt him. <laughs> now, for my first order as your new master, I mean a boss, I need you to write down the secret formula. <gasps> oh, I don't re remember. I don't remember it. Choose your next words carefully, Fry Cook. Are you with me or against me? I'm with you, I'm with you. It's just that Mr. Krabs knows the formula. Uh, I just add a certain amount of it to the patties from a jar, you know? <laughs> and don't come back until you have this secret formula memorized! Ah, jeez. What a pain in the neck. Uh, at least Plankton believed our story. Hey, Mr. Krabs. Uh, you're here again? Squidward, you didn't clock back in yet. <laughs> uh, Squidward and I had a really good idea about the secret formula. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't know about you, but the secret formula isn't in the greatest hiding spot. And we were thinking that <laughs> maybe it should be somewhere else. And where is that? At Squidward's house. Wait, it's a horrible idea! Is it, though? It's barnacles! Mr. Krabs, think about it. 
everyone knows that Squidward hates his job here, right? I sure do. So if it was at Squid's house, nobody would expect it there. Hmm. Well... I loathe this dumpster fire of a restaurant, but I absolutely love staying at home and keeping everything nice and tidy. There's lots of great hiding spots, and you wouldn't have to worry about Plankton stealing the formula anymore. <sighs> you know, boys, it's not the worst idea. Take good care of me, baby, okay? Sure, sure thing, thing, Mr. Krabs. But if that formula gets out of your hands, I'll make you two sleep in between boulders for the rest of your days. Uh, okay, Mr. Krabs. <clears throat> that couldn't have been Nathaniel and Carl. They would have noticed my boulder reference right away. All right, Plankton, we got the formula. Really? On one condition. I'm your boss. I command you to give me that formula this instant. Ah, we can leave any time we want, Plankton. We just want a few gallons of chum. That's all? That's all. All right, fine. You can have your stupid chum if you'll just hand that over. <laughs> I'll be right back, fellas. So how was your day? Eh, not bad, I guess. Could've been better. Good. I just wanted to ask you before you're destroyed. <laughs> you thought you could work with me, you fools! Say hello to my giant mech! <laughs> no! We had planned a vow renewal next week! That's it! Nathan! Catch! What now? Shoot at the wall! Well... So much for getting chum. Nathan, the chum was here this whole time. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. You destroyed the chum bucket? We didn't mean to. Plankton was trying to kill us with a robot machine. I got it! The orange jellyfish you wanted! I know you wanted it really bad, so I put it in my breathing jar so it could live. And what about you, Patrick? Hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Patrick, we need a rainbow jellyfish now. Right away! Well, now that you've destroyed the chum bucket, you have no choice but to get that orb. It's not the first time. We've been through a lot lately. Alright, you're both heading back to 2004. Wait, no. No. No, come on! Nathaniel, he wants me to take off my shirt. Ha ha ha! No way, Nathaniel. Bandy, I'm not getting paid enough for this. Welcome! Welcome! There we go! Hey, Sandy, before we go, have you ever heard of the Void? The Void? I ain't never heard of that. Oh, huh. Okay. Aw, oh, yeah. This is gonna be nostalgic. Yeah, but which door is the entrance? Good question. Maybe this one. Ah! Carl, I got you! Ah! Oh. Uh, yep, 
Yep. This place is booby trapped. <laughs> but at least we're inside. You know, I hate to bring this up again. Yeah? I can't stop thinking about this mission. What's not to get? We have to find the orbs to save space-time itself. Just hear me out, Nathan. If these orbs really are so important, maybe even the most important aspect of reality, how did all of them get lost in the first place? There's a pedestal with their places on them and everything. It's just off. The void is the void. It's not like he's scamming us or something. This is really important. Man, I'd wish you'd actually listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Huh? Uh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> the legend of SpongeBob, I guess. I wonder what the whip is for. Let me try this. Holy crap! We probably need to find another way around then. next time wasn't ready for that sorry it was too tempting hungry 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 is that you hungry. i told you to eat something before we hungry. left uh that hungry. isn't me hungry 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 i'll get us over uh oh now what Use your tentacles! I'll fight off the nematodes for now! This might work! Climb higher! I'm coming up! Hold on! Ah! Stop! They're right below us! Just hold on! Oh, my aching tentacles. That'll do, Carl. That'll do. Look, when we get this orb, can we just go back home? Carl. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Listen to what you're saying. It feels like we're helping the wrong guy. How do you not see that? We don't even know what's going to happen to those universes that we corrupted. Look, can we wait until we find the last orb and then decide? Shulk said that we would technically be successful, and it's not like the Void has access to the orbs. I'm sure everything will go back to normal. God, you're just... whatever. I'm what? Forget I said anything. Let's just keep going. Oh, great. There's got to be a pattern or something. Oh, cool. A clarinet. How is that supposed to help us? Wait, hold on a second. <sighs> Let's try the next path. <sighs> this one has to be it. One door later. <sighs> what is this book? We're stuck here. I think we got to use the clarinet somehow. Not half bad. Thanks. Hmm, that's great and all, but we're still stuck and you're giving me a headache now. Ah, oh, come on. Don't lose your hopes yet.
Aha! I told you. We made it! The orb has to be here. Neptune isn't very smart, so I have it somewhere obvious. You mean this? No way! Sandy was right! I knew they wouldn't get my crown back. <laughs> Congratulations on yet another orb. With the Orb of Knowledge, you gained the ability to learn and master anything at all you've experienced. Wow, that's awesome! So, have you perhaps forgotten someone? Nathaniel? Nathaniel? He, he should have worked back here with us. No. Nathaniel! Nathaniel! Nathaniel, where are you? Nathaniel! Nathaniel? Nathaniel! 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 Mr. Mr. Krabs. Well, don't lose your screws yet. There's still hope. Hope? Do you just say that there's hope? This is my real brother here! You can't save death! Yes, you can. Now get a grip on yourself. The Orb of Life can bring Bethaniel back as good as new. All that remains is to find it. Find it? How? Exactly. There are millions of universes out there. We can't keep doing this. Would you both just listen to me for a minute? I didn't think I'd need to share this, but the more orbs you have, the more valuable they become. With four of the five orbs, you can now enter universes in an entirely different dimension, including the fourth dimension. In addition, you no longer have to transform into another person. So, we won't destroy any more universes? Not at all. What about the universes we've already corrupted? Well, they're transformed into invisible dark matter. But this can be fixed with all five orbs. All right, well, where should we go next? Mm -hmm. Mega Man 2? Sure, that sounds good. Oh, finally. Just one more orb and I can escape and do whatever I please. Huh? Oh, look! So how do we get in? What? Oh, that's really cool.
Whew, wait a minute. What's up? We need to be smarter about this. I know the level layout by heart, and there's nothing that looks like one of the orbs here. Well, we're getting powers here. Right, but we have to look in different places. Let's take out Dr. Wily and explore his lab. All right, Wily. Do you have the Orb of Life? <coughs> what? Who are you people? Where is Mega Man? Focus, Wybrows. Where is the Orb? What on earth are you talking about? No, you start talking, old man. Ah! <laughs> Please! Mega Man never tried to kill me like this! <laughs> There's nothing in here. Damn it. All right, all right. I guess he doesn't have it. Well, now what? We can absorb powers now, so I guess we'll go to another universe. But which one? Oh, Metroid Prime. Being able to scan environments and enemies would be really helpful. Good idea. Let's go. Nathan, check your visors. Do you have the scan visor? Uh, yes, I have it. Check this out. No way! I didn't even think about combining our powers like this. Okay, quick! Let's look around for the orb before this runs out. Let's scan the database and see what we find. Man... We gotta hurry and decide where to go next. Time Stopper is about to end. Uh, Mario Odyssey! Okay! Nathan? Where are you? I'm up here. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you'd be happy. I'll go ahead and fly around if you can ask the Toasterenans for help. Huh? Sweet. Uh, hey? I just wanted to ask you something. Hey. Huh? Hi. I was wondering if you've heard of the Orb of Life. I don't think so. But we are having a dance-off soon! Ha ha ha! Uh, thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> Man, this scanning isn't helping at all. Hey, little buddy. Think you could help me out? All right, thanks. Hey, what's with Jaxie floating in the air? Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, hold on just a minute. Whoa! So, why are we here now? There's more people to scan up above. I'll go ahead and scan them all real quick. Well, I guess I'll just chill. Sure. 
Sure is beautiful around here. Nothing. Let's try another universe. Before we go, let's just think for a moment. <sighs> Again? No, about where to go. Is there a universe that has something that will give us a genuine boost in knowledge? There's always Undertale. You're joking. How will that give us any clues? The boss fights, Carl. If we fought Sans and Flowey, that would be extremely helpful. I hate to admit it, but you've got a good point. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Flowey, let's cut through the bullshit. Don't you want to learn how to play first? No, we just want to see Sans. Hmm, I see how it is. You idiots think you're so smart! In this world, it's kill or be killed! You sure about that? <laughs> idiots! I don't know if you're human or monster, but you cannot kill me! You have no idea what you're up against! <sighs> Let's just go. Oh, hello. I check this area every day to see if humans fell into the ruins. Let me take you home. Can you take us to the funny joke guy through the door? Wow, how do you know who that is? It's a long story. Let's check Toriel's house real quick. <laughs> I think you should play upstairs instead. Nah. That felt so wrong. Well, we don't have much choice. We can fix all this when we find that orb. Human? Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Let me guess, the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick? You're a jokester too! I don't know if I'd say that. Sans, we need your help. You like breaking the fourth wall, so this Do I? So you'll understand when I say that we're space traveling humans, and we need to find something called the Orb of Life. Orb of Life? You mean my beautiful bald skull? <laughs> hey, uh, you guys want to go to Grilby's? I'm hungry. Yes, actually. Great. I'm on a legally required break right now, so I'm glad you can join. Alright, Sans, just, just listen. We need to fight you. You wanna fight? Yes. Hmm. Okay. You feeling O's or X's today? No, not that. Like an actual fight. So a game of hangman? I may be lazy, but I know big words. Uh, Sans! Ugh! What just happened? I froze time and everyone around you. Could we, like, get the ball rolling now? <laughs> this isn't a genocide run, you dorks. God damn it, Sans! We learn everything that we observe. Just let us fight to learn your abilities so we can get this orb and save your bones. All right, but I must warn you, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> Ready? Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> How did you spare me? This doesn't make sense. This is an alternate timeline, Sans. Thank you for teaching us your moves and special attack. Until next time. Wait, did you want to meet my brother? Sans, why haven't you recalibrated your puzzles yet? Well, I would, but I don't have the guts for it today. You came back? Are you really that brain dead? Nah, we just want to fight you. Oh, you want to fight? You think you can handle me? Maybe, maybe not. If you insist, I do have six human souls, so best of luck! I knew you had it in you. You aren't the only one with abnormal powers. What? Thank you for teaching us how to save state. What? Nice, it works. We didn't find the orb of life, but the save stating is useful. Oh yeah, definitely. I call next universe. Boy, check out these sweet F-Zero guns. I'll talk to the bartender first. You go ask some other people while I do that. Try to target the racers. All right, let's meet back up in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey there. I'm taken. Don't even try. I'm just curious if you know what that mystery prize is for the Grand Prix. You think I know? <laughs> I haven't the faintest idea. Well, thanks anyway, I guess. Hey man, big fan. What do you want? Oh, I'm just chilling. I noticed there's a mystery prize for the Grand Prix. I mean, what's that all about? I have no idea. They haven't told you anything? Aren't you racing in the Grand Prix? Yeah, but they're acting weird about this one. Usually you get the cash and run, you know? Something weird has been going on. And Cap isn't racing either. Must be something pretty special if they aren't telling someone of your caliber. Say, I don't recognize you. Are you racing? Depends on the prize, to be completely honest. You know? <sighs> well, anyway, I gotta head out. But it was nice meeting you. Yeah, I know. I was just wondering what the prize is. Yeah, zero yeah, yeah. drivers are so they sure cool. are. You guys don't know either. Right? Uh, yes. It's oh, not so something it's one can simply special. explain in words. You killed someone with a dart! <laughs> What's wrong with you? Than a speeding the bullet. prize? Does yeah. anybody know anything about the prize? Any luck? I discovered that everyone was a bit fishy about the prize. There's a good chance this is it then. Unfortunately, it's too late for us to enter the race. You have Cappy's abilities, though. And? Just transform into one of the racers. Okay. What if we lose? We got save states. We can cheese this race so easily. That feels so wrong. But so right. Yes! Ready? <laughs> Three, Three, two, two one. one. Show me a move. Uh, Carl, I don't think this is it. Hey, that's awesome! Carl, did you forget why we're here? No. But come on, just look at him! I pick the next place. Ha <laughs> ha
You found it? You sure did. Congratulations! Now, simply put all the orbs in to save the space-time continuum. Wait. What happens to us after? Why, you simply become heroes. That's what happens. You've done a good and noble act and should be very proud. When all this is over, you can go home with Bethaniel safe and sound. Nathan, wait. What do you mean, wait? You've got all five orbs. Why stop now? Oh, come on. We're inside of a void. I can't be the only one here that finds us all a little fishy. Oh, it's fine. You're just overthinking and likely need a bit of shut-eye. No, I'm not. This entire quest makes no sense. How do we get so lucky finding the first four orbs, but not the fifth? Are you trying to take advantage of us? You know what? Screw both you guys. Hey, Carl! Give me back the orcs. Why the hell should I do that? You aren't listening to me, so I'm done listening to you. For Bethaniel! Are we just going to abandon him? I forgot about Bethaniel. You forgot about my brother? What kind of a friend are you? I'm sorry. Scott here. I knew it. I knew this was a scam. The only thing that's a scam is that you know too much. What did you say? You ever wondered what Waz stood for in Scott the Waz? I'll tell you because it's a fun little acronym. And that is Wizard of
now that I'm finally free from the orb's powers, I can destroy the simulation once and for all. Scan him! Why isn't this... No! Ugh, the system just crashed! Now what? And we just have to fight! You think you're getting off scot-free, huh? You think Time Stopper can stop me? Time is a construct of your imagination. What? Who threw that piece of paper at me? Oh yeah, you! Okay, let's see him dodge this.
Alright, fellas. Did you have fun? I hope you did, because I'm bored now. You honestly think you learned enough to take me down? If not, we keep trying. Oh, what are you fancy? Oh. Huh? <laughs> you idiots! All the powers of the orbs are already inside me! You're hopelessly doomed! Nathan, get in! So what do we do now? Drive away! What do we have that he doesn't? Clearly nothing valuable! Carl, get us out of here! I'm looking! I'm looking! I'm looking! Come on! Attack! Attack! Hit it! Hit it! Hold on! Are you pests done running? There is no escaping me. Maybe not, but we can learn from our enemies. Nice try, but that won't work on me. So, this is it. Don't give up yet. Carl, I... I gotta... What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I never believed you. You've been right this whole time, and I wouldn't let my guard down. I've been a bad friend, and I, I just... Nathan. Yeah? One more song? <laughs> Nathaniel... He... He's here with us. What do you want me to play, buddy? Just... I... A song of healing... <coughs> like... Like in King Neptune's... character in Melee. I just think people aren't playing him right. I don't like, think honestly, you're wrong. Here's the thing. Is that who I think it is? Oh, dude. Oh my god. That is a sick cosplay. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? That costume must have taken forever to make. I'm impressed. What masks do you have? Ooh, the bunny hood. Is that a Sans mask? 